absolutely it's a it's a national treasure for us and that's why it is so important for us to protect these guys park ranger cj lombard and his tracker patrick moriani are out on another game drive looking for rhinoceros if you look carefully you can see the front toenail one side toenail the other side toenail and the heel of this male rhino in this private South African game park, part of the larger Kruger National Park, Lombard and Moyani not only track rhinos, but search for poachers who want to kill the animals for their horns. Yeah, we've left that enough. During this game viewing excursion, they come across a pair of rare black rhinos, one of the world's most endangered animals. This is such a, an amazing, beautiful moment knowing the history and, and you know everything that's got to do with rhino poaching and yet still you know here's here's this beautiful black rhino mommy with her calf lombard says this sighting is a positive sign amid an anti-poaching fight that gets tougher all the time it's an ongoing war and you need to constantly be ahead of these guys and coming up with new new ideas new techniques and it's becoming very modernized in, uh, in, the, in the ways of trying to stop these guys from, from poaching our rhinos. The Kruger Park area has been the hardest hit by poaching, yet this private reserve hasn't lost a single animal. Staff here credits their policy of injecting poison into the horns. It doesn't harm the rhinos, but makes their horns unsuitable for human consumption. The measures are designed to curb a thriving black market for rhino horns in Asian countries where they're believed to have some traditional medicinal value. Despite the fact that rhino horn is little more than protein similar to that of human hair or nails, it can fetch about $60,000 per kilo. That is powerful incentive for poachers who are becoming increasingly organized, well-armed and bold. The mission of protecting the rhino is personal for Moyani, who grew up in this area. I like to um, see all those animals, all of them alive. If they disappear, then um, we will just left with that uh, there was a rhino, rhinos like this, and the, the next generation will not, never know. They will just see it on the box. Despite a variety of anti-poaching measures, which include public awareness campaigns both in Africa and Asia, Chief Park Ranger Juan Pinto says the rhino is still sliding towards extinction in many other locations. There needs to be political, international and government influence that needs to come into place from multiple countries that want to try and stop this because it's not going to be stopped from a ground root level only. The game rangers and trackers here say they'll do everything they can to protect the rhino for future generations to enjoy. But they say if rhino poaching doesn't stop, these majestic mammals will be lost forever. Chris Simpkins, VOA News, inside the Thorny Bush Game Reserve, South Africa.